three lives. Oh, there's a G right there. I've already got 26 lives on at the end of the first world. Yeah, I'll definitely hit 99 by the end of the game. Unless... Oh, right, I'll start using them up on Animal Antics. Oh, right, Funky Spikes, that's what's right here. Looking good, dudes! I'm Funky, the main monkey! And my new Funky Splats can take you anywhere on Crocodile Isle! That sounds way too close to my Professor T-Boot voice. Give me a good Surfu dude voice, man. No, that's a Stony voice. Whatever. No, I do not want to play him. Yeah, as I'm sure you've all noticed by now, my range of voices is very limited. Sadly, you guys did not choose Beast Wars. Oh my gosh, it's a giant crow wearing a pirate hat! And pirate belt, actually, too. Okay, if I hop up there, there's coins. Ah! I'm gonna show you my butt. I'm not quite sure why Dixie's pants don't go up all the way, but... Whatever. Oh, and I want Diddy to kill him. Yeah. Cartwheel. So I'm not showing Diddy enough love. Whoa. Oh, good, that saved Diddy's life. That one won't land. This one will not either. The next one will. No, I was wrong. I lied. I apologize once again. Dope! Oh, ho, ho. Whoa! Square, killed by the first boss. That was funny. And he was going to be dead with one more hit, too. Good thing has been a long time since I played this game, I guess. I certainly hope I wasn't playing it this past summer and doing this poorly. More banana coins. Hmm, what other funny stories do I have about this game? I'll have one for Queen B. Or King B. Or no, Queen Z. Queen Z. Yeah. Whatever boss it is at the end of the, uh... Scary place. Come on, did he take out your peanut pop guns and blast that girl? I don't have them yet, Rift! I guess did you wouldn't sound that lame either. Maybe I should just resort to my Wasp and Megatron impressions, which are a bit out of practice, but might suffice for some good voices. I blame Rex's word for not choosing Beast Wars like I was hoping he would. I mean, I knew he wouldn't, but it would have been fun. And as you can see, there is a dark treasure chest hidden up here, which you may not have seen depending on the video quality. Oh, also, speaking of the video quality, I did a uh, sort of test with some of the newer gen systems on my MacBook camera. Um, I'm pretty much limited to 64-bit and less. I mean, Bioshock looked pretty decent in standard def, in full quality also, which would mean a huge file size and other problems. And it, I mean, it wasn't like perfect quality, which I really like. And I, um, I don't know if I've said it already, but I would really love to do a Let's Play of Bioshock. I may end up asking for either a TV tuner or a, uh, digital camcorder for Christmas, simply for that reason, so I can actually get a high quality thing to record with. I used to be good enough at this, I could do this all with just to each of these crocodiles once. I almost did it right there. And those nice little random things that you do to look slightly cooler. And here we have Squidward, or Squidward, as we call which. They show you a Y when really you want to use A. Probably making that the first truly hidden DK uh, point in the game. And naturally, Squidward has the best attack. This actually shoots. Whereas Rampy, it has to be in front of you or beneath you. Squidward, er, bleh, bleh, Slinky. I hope that guy's name is Slinky. Slinky is, uh, bleh, 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 has to be to jump on somebody. Uh, on guard has to stab somebody with his big spiky mouth. I don't really need all of these bananas. 
probably could have gone straight and gotten the G, I'm guessing. Or is it just banana coins? I don't care about banana coins, I want the G. I guess this could also probably double the Donkey Kong Country 2 walkthrough. I mean, so far I've gotten everything, and I've shown you that secret uh, war barrel in whichever level of the first world that was. And I nearly have enough coins for the first Lost World level, however, when I can first access it, I will not have enough coins to bribe Bubba. Now we have Diddy's cool boom box and Diddy jamming out, as he's been doing for the past several stages. That whichever stages Dixie didn't win. But I'm pointing it out now. There is a way to change his boom box so that it will be gold. Here we have Clubless yeah, Kiosk. But I'll go there later when I can actually do something with it. Who cares about Swanky? We probably won't see him for the rest of the game. And here we have Cannon's Claim. This level's fun. I'm gonna need to switch to Dixie. Because. Bonus stage. And this will be the first bonus stage to have the DK coin in the bonus stage. So let's hope I can remember where it is. Oh, right, it's right over here. That was surprisingly easy. Alright, go! And there is the 15 needed to bribe Kelda. shot back to where I was. Ooh, bananas. Wait, is there something else over there? No, there is not. I'm bound to forget something at some point in this game. Um, for the sake of this let's play, I'm going to try to get through the entire Lost World, which will require every... Ooh, there's the cave. Which will require every creme coin. So I get back to humor really quick before I say that's funny. Something funny. Or something completely stupid that will make people laugh anyways. That could always work. I guess I'll go back to information then since I can't think of any... Oh, I that TNT. Go back to information since I can't think of any... Hold on a second. Oh. Um, like Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, this game was published by Rare. I do not recall which studio made Donkey Kong though. As most people know now, Rare is owned by Microsoft, which sucks. Because it's not really clear which rights don't, which rights uh, Nintendo has or doesn't have. Because for some reason they keep on cranking out new Donkey Kong games, but none of them are good. You know, we haven't seen a good wait a second, I want to probably yes I did, okay. Excuse me, we haven't seen a good Donkey Kong game since Donkey Kong 64, which sadly I have a sucky joystick behind the 64 controller. This thing's wore down way too quickly. No long, long heavy at all. So I never actually finished on the 64, sadly. Even though I played through the first three several times. Okay, that's information and I still haven't called a joke yet. Oh, come on, Diddy. Or Dixie. Oops, oh, I need Dixie up ahead too, don't I? Skip over some of these. Yep. 